Okay, I believe I was here. We gotta move quickly and get on the last one first. And you gotta you get on this one so you can reach the ladder. Pretty simple. No, except the lava can kill you. As long as you stay on the lava bars, you won't get hurt. So the boss is Sword Man, and I'm just going for Water Balloon. Let's make this a fair fight. Use the fire slash to slide under him. And slide back. And his fire strike does reach quite a way. And flame saver. You can also summon big bricks to fall on them. It's not hard. Nice shot. Nice shot. Says. He's very honorable. Sometimes when you beat him, when you fight him, he says nothing personal. But I've got the Snitty British, but honorable. But I obtained the Almighty. Flame Sword, according to Mega Man. The next enemy is supposed to be mm, Search Man is used for Flame Sword. Should be search men, there's two heads. And they both have different voices slash personalities. Now before I go anywhere, I'll explain those things I got from the masters, the stages. These are rush powers. This first one. This is the one I got from Grimania stage, it's Rush Cycle. You have a limited amount of time, so yeah, he's got 32 seconds left. I can always switch him off just by pausing it and choosing a different item. You can only use them once per stage. So, they're not all that useful, and I barely ever use Rush Cycle. Apparently, I have to get rid. I have to use up Rush Cycle before I can use the other ones. Apparently, not really all that fun. And when you run out of time. Rush will go away. Of course, there's other ones. A question mark. Is the ref um charger, and he gives you a random item. I got that from Clown Man stage. This one is Rush Bomb. I will just fly back and forth at the top of the screen, <laughs> dropping bombs randomly until he runs out of energy, or maybe I can switch him off, I'm not sure. No, I can't switch him off. And of course, you can fire too. Rush Bomber does not last as long as uh, Rush Cycle, but Rush Cycle will 
disappear if it hits a if it hits certain walls. And the final one, which is the most my favorite of them all, most useful, you get this from Aquaman stage. Rush health. He'll run fly across the the screen, dropping health, weapons, and even lives sometimes. He won't do that for very long, but he is useful. And I got that from Aquaman. And now let's continue the stage. I hope we don't need to use Rush. That was a long one. He's ready to dodge, he's like, he used the thunder claw on that thing. Which I will for this. You have to be dead center when you hit that thing, where you won't make the swing. It's not, there's no bottomless hit, so you can fall from up here, but... For most platformers, the upper path is usually the safest. Plus, the Thunder Claw is not too bad of a physical weapon. I think you need to use it there if you're going to take this path. He's got a lot of health. And we're into part two of the stage. So Wily either created or has evil energy with him and he's giving that I assume to make his robot master strong. I don't think he's the one who created it, because in that video at the very beginning we saw do a fighting something. Get in there, you gotta shoot the door open and then swing in before it closes on you. Thunderclaw the whole time. It's a fun weapon, it doesn't use too much energy. I may run out of it. And hopefully the enemies I destroy will drop weapon energy that I can collect. And those spikes kill you. So you have to be dead center when you hit that. It's 8 o'clock at night. And I'm playing the game on a different TV in a different room this time. Because they just got a new TV, so I'm trying to see if the lighting here will work. Maybe yeah, I should have done that in the first three parts and made sure the lighting was proper. Made sure the lighting was proper at that point, but. So the weapon restores every life. I have full summer call right now. I think I'll stop it here and pick it up 